there is a lot one can add, but I say even Jesus and Mary in the, in the, in the gospel says, acknowledge the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is his, the king. Allah is the king of the king. He holds our destiny. Everything is held. So therefore, let, let no Christian cheat himself and cheat Almighty Creator and cheat Jesus, Son of Mary, saying that he believe in Jesus. Next come very important, more important than where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala divide the Muslim from the entire world. Muslims have been given their own culture, their own way, their own deen, and they are forbidden to befriend non-Muslims. لا يتخذ المؤمنون الكافرين أولياء من دون المؤمنين ومن يفعل ذلك فليس من الله في شيء إلا أن تتقوا آمنهم تقاتم ويهزكم الله نفسه ويا الله المصير I'm not reading this clearly Yes, here I can read. لا يتخذ المؤمنون الكافرين أولياء من دون المؤمنين ومن يفعل ذلك فليس من الله شيء في شيء إلا أن تتقوا منهم تقاطع ويهزكم الله نفسه وإلى الله المصير. This is a direct command. It's a direct command order. It is not a, a statement for, a, you know, as an advice. It's a command. The Muslim should not befriend kafirs. Same, min dunil mu'mini. Same, other than mu'mini. Muslims should not befriend kafirs, other than Muslim or mu'mini. And whosoever will do that, he shall have nothing to do with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You understand? Yes. Umayy yaf'al, whosoever will do that, zalika, zalika, that, zalika, that, means that, that uh, disobedience, falaysal, falaysa min Allah fi shayin. He will have nothing to do with Allah, illa an tattaku minhum tuqata. Save for those people, you know, for save for those people who in start in order to save themselves from the harm of the kuffar, right? Mm -hmm. Or while living amongst kafir, or maybe they are involved in a situation the kafirs are too powerful, save the, themselves from their harm, they may cultivate relations, social relation, courteous relation, understand? We call a courteous relation, but friendship not allowed. It is haram. What is friendship? When you have a place in your heart. When you, for somebody, you have a place in your heart, and that is called friendship. So this is forbidden, but exception is this, you know? This, uh, and, uh, you cannot. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, he, if, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frightens you from his wrath, he warns you of his wrath. You hazrukum Allah nafsahu. Now, try to understand. The, I, I'm quoting from the, you know, Tafasir, commentary is supposed to be, Ruhul Mu'ani, Tafsir Mazari, and few others. I'm not giving my opinion when I give commentary, but I build up my beyond my lecture on basis of that, right? Because nobody has right to explain, interpret, or give the seed or the Quran from his own opinion. 
I have no opinion. I base my bayan, my lecture, on basis of the what little translation I can make and in the light of the commentaries given by Rasul Sallam, as Abdullah bin Abbas and all the earlier I base they, I base my argument on those. Now the causes of the sent down, I don't want to use the term revelation because it's used prophet, word prophet, revelation is used extensively for those people who were possessed by jinn whom they call the mediums, you said. The Asbab al Nazul is this. The day in jihad called Jihad of Ahzab, you know. Hazrat Abada bin Samud came to Rasulullah. He said, Ya Rasulullah, I have 500 Yahudis because he was Abada bin Samud, a very prominent Jew, a Sardar, chief of the Jews. He said, there are 500 Jews with whom I have some understanding pact, you know, halif, you know, I have some understanding with them and they believe me and they obey me, though they are not Muslims. And if you allow me, I can call them to help you in the war, in the jihad. When he heard that, Allah sent this. Allah sent this. Aya, la yat khizl mu'minuna, mu'minun al kafirin awliya min dun al mu'minin. Muslims are not allowed to be friends or to say, take help. You know, you take only help with whom you are very intimate. from non-Muslim from Kafirs. Now, look at these Wahhabis, the so-called Muhaddeen. They write on their master, they tell, We seek your help. Huh? We need your help. We seek your help. Nobody's help. If you say, Ya Rasulullah, is a Muslim kafir. You say, but this is a statement of Allah in which Mu'mineen are told to seek each other's help. Ta'anu al bil You must cooperate and mutually help each other on good things. But uh, what happens? In Saudi Arabia, there is no danger for the Saudis from Iraq. Yet, they call the Yahudis, they call the Israelis, they call the Kufar, Nusara, the Americans, come and help us. They come and take over the Holy Land, the Hijaz, which Allah's Nabi, Rasul forbade Kafir to enter in the, you know, Surah al -Barat. They come and watch you take over Saudi Arabia and destroy more than six million Muslim men, women, and children, cold blood. They drop bombs on the shelter straight by locking, you know, <coughs> those bombs carrying TV cameras and killing those innocent men, women, and children in the shelters. All done. All done because Saudi is called them. Who say, <laughs> We only worship you. You do your ibadah and istana many ask help from you. Why did you ask help? All the Israeli, all the Yahud are still there. Are these people right? According to this, Allah's command is this. La yattakhid al mu'minun al kafirin awliya bin al mu'min dun al mu'minin. Wa man yaf'al zalika. Zalika. Who shall will do that? Who shall will take? non muskafas as a friend. Zalika falaysa min Allah fi shay. He will have nothing to do with Allah. Meaning, he's a kafir. There was no 
David. You know why? Why call the Jews who has been banished by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the time of Khaybar again back? You know, again, this this uh, polytheist Mushrikeen. All the Mushrik is still there. They have clubs. They have nightclubs. The drinking and dancing go on. The outside Medina to Manawara, they are outside Mecca. Colonel Anderson's fried chicken, burgers, McDonald's burgers, everywhere. Medina has been destroyed. The city has been destroyed. All those relics have been destroyed. The old homes of Ayub al Sari, the quarters and the homes of the Arul Bayt, the homes of all these Sahaba which existed about 10-15 years ago. Till 10-15, they have been destroyed instead hotels, fast food restaurants, and so-called extension of the thing. Much of the Nabi had taken place, which they call the Tomb of the big, big idol, son of Akbar. So Allah says, whosoever will take Kafroon as a friend, and if he does that, he shall have nothing to do with Allah. They are kafirs. Do I say that? Allah says that. We still hope that one day they will see the light of truth, the light of reason, the light of Islam may enter in their hearts, maybe sometime. But Allah's judgment is there. Allah wants to say, Kul in tuhfu ma fi sudurikum aw tubdu hu ya'lamuhu Allah wa ya'lamu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard wa Allah wa la kulli shayin khadeer. This is a warning to those people who had cultivated secret friendship with the Meccan Kafirs and the Jews and even today who secretly cultivate friendship with Kafirs and seek their help or give them help, you know, and under some pretext, under some fatwa, under something, you know, Allah says, say Ya Rasulullah tell them whatever you may hide in your heart. Or you may reveal, Allah knows about that. He knows whatever is the heaven and whatever is the earth, and He is in command over everything. Yawma tajidu kullu nafsin ma amalat min khairin muhdan, wa ma amalat min su'in tawaddu. Tawaddu law anna baynaha wa baynahu abadan ba'idha. وَيُحَزُّنُكُمُ اللَّهُ نَفْسَهُ وَاللَّهُ رَوْفٌ بِالْعِبْرَادِ Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya Rasulullah sallam, I had to say, you tell them. Allah says, tell the Muslim, O Muslim, tell others. O ulama, O mubalagheen, tell others. That Allah knows what is your heart. Whether you reveal it or not, he, he knows whatever you have or not, and he is in control of everything. And Allah says, Yawma, the day, this is better print, you know. Yawma tajdu kullu nafsum ma amalat min khayrum muhdaran. The day every being, every self or soul shall see what it has earned of khair. Khair means good, which had brought before him, sent before him, and what evil it has done. Tawaddu law an baynaha wa baynahu abadam barida. And it will wish, if that soul, that being, the pit will wish, if there was a long distance between him or her, between it, I would say, the soul, I say, you know, between it and that day. It is going to be like that. And Allah again warn you, you know, from his, himself. Allah, wallahu rawfum bil ibad. Indeed, Allah is most compassionate upon His servants. Meaning thereby, 
وٹ ایور اے سول ول برنگ فورتھ فرام دیٹ ڈے یوم تجد كل نفس ما عملت من خير مقبر وٹ ایور ان دیٹ ڈے ایوری سول وٹ ہٹ ارن وٹ گڈ اور بیڈ اٹ ہیز ڈن اٹ ول برنگ یو نو ان دیٹ ڈے شیل فائنڈ اٹ بیفور دیٹ اینڈ دوز مینی دیٹ ڈے ول سی وش دیر واز اے لانگ ڈسٹن بٹوین می اینڈ دیٹ Allah warned you of his tormentment, of chastisement. But of course, he is most compassionate for his, you know, most compassionate, Rauf means, most compassionate upon his servants. Ibad, you know, Ibad word is used for, you know, his servants, not for the coffers. Rauf, now why not Rahim? Allah could have used the word Rahim. You know? Wallahu rahimun bil ibad rahmanun ibad or something like that. No. Rauf. Rauf is that kind of mercy which is found in a mother for her children. That she is going to protect her children at all cost. That is called, it is more than mercy, you know. Mercy is optional, you may show or you may not show, you know. Alhamdulillah, enter the fourth ruku. Kul in kuntum tuhibbun Allah fattabi'uni yuhibbukum Allah wa yaghfir lakum zanubakum wallahu ghafuru rahim. This is a better prayer to you. Kul in kuntum tuhibbun Allah fattabi'uni yuhibbukum Allah. Kul, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you love Allah, if you love Allah, and some say, interpret it, if you want Allah to love you, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ But I will follow the literal translation is, if you love Allah, here, تُحِبُّونَ means, Take Allah as your friend, right? First was that uh, Allah forbids you to cultivate friendship with non-Muslims, right? Here, he invites Muslims to befriend him. You understand? No. To befriend him. And he says, Ya Rasulullah, tell them. If you wish to love Allah, to befriend Allah, forget about everything. Become Allah's friend, right? Become Allah's friend, then what you do, what you have to do then? You are not required to go in the retreat for 60 years like Yahud, Bani Israel. You don't have to undergo rigorous, you know, exercises of zikr and of starvation, mortification of flesh. You don't have to leave your wives and children. You know, you don't have to desert and abandon this world and worldly, you know, Comfort? No. What you have to do? Very simple thing. That is, Fattabiruni. That, follow me. Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tell Muslims I have solved their problem. Don't make kufar, non-Muslim their friend. Cultivate friendship with me, Allah says. And if you wish to cultivate friendship with me, or if you take me as you if you take me as your friend and if you want a friendship to remain firm and more strong and more, you know, rewarding, then tell your Rasulullah people that they should fattabiruni, then they should follow you, follow the sunnah of Rasul Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so that Allah will love you, so that Allah will love you. Not only love you, he will forgive you. وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ He shall forgive you your sins. Now you see, when we, we reconstruct the whole, you know, this, uh, uh, that,
that is very simple. This matter's friendship continues. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that only you have to follow my beloved Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, follow his sunnah. Whom he has sent as an exemplary example for us to follow. Whom he has placed as the best conduct. Best conduct he taught. And Holy Quran and Rasulullah said, I have come to complete the best conduct, the best manners, adab and akhlaq of the Muslims, to complete them through Quran and by following the Quran before us and what is called Quran and Sunnah. قُلْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحَبِّبُكُمُ اللَّهُ يَغْفِرُ لَكُمْ وَزَنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Remember this, memorize this. If you wish to cultivate friendship with Allah, that Allah becomes your friend and love you, at the same time, follow the Suli Akram Sallallahu Alaihi Don't fall of the prey of the conspiracy of the Yahud, which is being dished, which is being interjected in the Holy Quran, I will give the evidence in, in this, in many ways saying that those commands, those things which Rasulullah did in that, during those times, are no more needed to be done now because time has changed. But Allah says, Allah's word never changed. No. Allah has commanded us to follow, obey, huh? and show obedience to Sul Akhir Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Understand? The word is Fattabiruni, Itba. You know? Itba is a word, it means to follow, to go after somebody. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will love you and forgive you all your great or small. First of all, thing is, you cannot follow a dead being. person has to be living. Itba is only possible of a living person. Rasulullah is living, like, a, like awliya, like shohada, he is alive. I mean, Isa is alive, so what? He is living. Same Rasulullah is living, but he has done his duty, he has fulfilled, he has completed his task, and he is not visible to us, our physical eye, but he is visible to our souls, the eyes of our heart, color, see him. Those who ul absar, those who have eyes, therefore those who do not have vision, who do, do, not, do not have eyes, and despite having these eyes, so you say, no, these are not the eyes, I have the khan. When you go to sleep, you see things with your eyes closed. Similarly, don't say dreaming, but Qalb has eyes which sees the soul Akhamsal. So this is the way things are. Kulati Allah Rasul. Say Ya Rasulam. Kulati Allah Rasul. Obey Allah and his messenger. And if you turn back, Allah does not like those, those who are unbelievers, disobedient. Allah Ta'ala says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ اسْتَفَى آدَمَ وَنُوحًا وَعَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمًا وَعَالَ إِمْرَانَ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ زُرِيَةٌ بَعَدُهَا مِنْ بَعَدٍ Wallahu Samir Alim. Indeed, Allah has chosen Adam al Islam and Nuh al Islam and a family of, you know, Ibrahim al Islam, wa Allah, Ibrahim, wa Allah Imran al Alameen, and a family of Imran. Al al Alameen, you know, above all, above everybody in the world. Allah preferred, chose, you know, Adam al Islam, Nuh al Islam, and family of Ibrahim al Islam, Ismail, Ishaq, and Yaqub, you know, 
and uh, Yusuf uh, and Ali Imran and Al Alamin and Zuriyatum Baad Uhabim Baad and they were related descendants of one each other. Allah Samin Alim. Allah indeed is here and sees no one. Now we come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains. <clears throat> now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains the incident to the to those who wish to follow Jesus son of Mary. Those who call them who claim themselves lover of Jesus son of Mary, they, it is for them as well, and it was also for the, the contingent from Najran led by Archbishop Hasa bin Al Kama and others. Allah's mother says, Is Kalti Marato Imarana Rabbi inni Nazaratu Laka Mafi Batani Muharadan Fatakabal Minni Is Kalti Marato Kalati, no? The word Kalati is a female, right? Is Kalati when it means when a female is Kalati Marato Imarana meaning thereby, when the wife of Imran, right, said, Rabbi, male say Rabba, Rabba, or female say Rabbi, Ya my, Ya Allah, O oh my Allah, O oh my Lord, Inni nazar to laka maafi batani. Nazar to, nazar mean to vow, you know, you say, Ya Allah, get me out of this trouble, I will give Sadka of one thousand dollars. This is called wow, nazar, right? And she, she did nazar, wow, nazar, nazar, nazar was maafi batani muharran fataqabbal minni. Whatever is within me, understand? Hmm? We don't use the word, you know, there's a Christian use, whatever is within me. Huh? Allah also uses batani, batani, right? He doesn't use that word. But in plain word which the Bible uses or other people use or but me in inside, which is within me, I give it free. Understand Muharram. Muharram mean give freedom, meaning make it free of all the incumbent, all the burden, all the responsibility for your sake, so that it I mean to free somebody for Allah, right? So she says, So accept that, Ya Allah. Huh? For the couple, minni. So accept my offering, Ya Allah. Indeed, you are the Sami, the hearer, and the knower. Allah accepted me. Inshallah, Allah says. So, what happened? Falamma wada'ataha. Falamma falamma wada'ataha. When she gave, delivered the baby, she said, Rabbi, Ya my Allah. Ya Lord, inni wadatuha unsa, we Allah, I have delivered a female. Wallahu alamu bima wada. Allah says, you know, Allah knows very well what you have delivered. <laughs> it's a bit of a humor here. Allah says, walaysal zakarao kal unsa, because male is not like female. <laughs> Wa inni sam yutuha Maryama, wa inni u izuha bika wa zuriyataha mini shaitan il rajeem. And if she continues, she says, Ya Allah, I have named her Maryam, Mary the call, and give, give, give her, and her offspring, her offspring, her descendant, in, in your protection from the shaitan, the regime, the outcast. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues the statement. This is not found. This is the gospel. The Injil, the glad tidings. Gospel means glad tidings. What is the glad tidings? Coming of the holy last messenger. For whom Allah created everything. And Allah sent Jesus and of Mary with this bushara. That the one for whom Allah created everything he is about to appear from the mountains of Haran. You know? Fata Kabbala Fata Kabbalaha. I'm sorry. Fata Kabbalaha. 
ربها بقبول حسن وانبتها نباتا حسنا therefore father allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted her with a uh, you know gracious you know acceptance and made her grow in excellent way and waqafalaha zakriya and made zakriya her kafi guardian كلما دخل عليها زكريا المعراب and whenever زكريا would come in her mihrab you know mihrab you know she used to she was young girl at that time she did this she used to do ibadah even at that time and whenever he would come into the niche or mihrab wajada indaha rizqa he would find provision like uh, fruits from all over the place fruits which are not grown in the area you would find that and he said qal ya maryama anna allati hada from where you get this thing and she would say qal huwa min inda allah these are from my allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inna allah yarzuqu min shaa'u bi ghayri hisab and this comes from my allah and allah gives provision who he will beyond one's expectation now these will appear from, from fruit of a fruit of jannah you know and she was brought up like that and she grew very fast allah was the actually the guardian but he made zakriya a salam when zakriya saw that all that he start seeing all what is happening hunalika da zakriya rabbuhu then he said this is the right right opportunity to make dua you know then and there when she told him that this is the situation then he said this is the time to make dua hunalika da'a zakriya rabbuhu there and then zakriya rasulam was very old man he maybe was about 100 you know he made dua before allah saying qala rabbi habli min ladunka zuriyatan tayyibatan innaka as-sami'ud du'a ya allah o my rabb I don't say, "Oh my Lord," as people say, "Allah," "Oh my Allah," grant me from Thy goodness a pure descendant, pure and holy descendant. Tayyab, indeed, You are the hearer of the prayer. Inna ka sumdu Tawa. فنادوه فنادوه الملائكه وهو قائم يصلي في المحراب when he was making salat in the mihrab angel called him that ان الله يبشرك بيحيى مصدقا مصدقا بكلمات من الله وسيدون وحسور ونبي من الصالحين the angel said allah gives you bushara of yahya whom is called john who shall confer who shall be a witness to word of allah meaning is al islam kalam allah kalma kalmatullah who shall be witness a confirmer who shall confirm word of allah and he shall be sayyid mean the prince or chief and who shall sur hasuran Surah the one who abstained from woman, who never been in solitude, and he shall be a purified, righteous Nabi from the Amia. Qala Rabbi anna yakun li ghulam, wa qad balagni al kibr wa marati aqir. Qala, he said, Jaja said, Ya Allah. Rabbi, Ya Allah, 
Wanna? How can I have a son? When I'm so old, old age has taken over me and my wife is barren, you know. She's what you call in English a sterile or still, I don't know. In British it was sterile. Allah said, Allah said, don't you worry. Kazalik Allah Jafanu Maisha. Allah said, Allah said, Allah does things whatever He desires. Don't worry. Adam al Islam without father, the mother, Isa al Islam without father, and the Yahya al Islam, absolutely gone case, you know, and he will get a son name, you know, John as they saw, you know, and uh, Zakaria, I'm sorry, Zakaria al Islam will get a son called Yahya, whom they call John. Then he said, Kala Rabbi Rabbij. Kala Rabbij Ali Aya. Kala Aya Toka Allah to Kaliman Nasa Salasata Ayamin Illa Ramza. Was Guru Rabban Kasiru. Was Sabihil Bil Ashiwal Abakar. Kala Rabbi. Ya Allah, appoint a sign for me. So Allah said, Signs for you is this the for three. For three nine days you shall not speak to anybody. Say with rums me with sign and gestures and keep on doing your zikr of Allah extensively and praying day and night, morning and evening. So this is how I'm narrating this is historical fact, you know, which should have been which were distorted from the gospel or testament, New Testament. But there are references very close to this, you know, about, uh, you know, was qalat al-malaikatu ya Maryam, inna Allah astafaki wa tahariki wa astafaki ala al-nasai al-alameen. Ya Maryam kunti li rabbiki wa sjidi wa rakari ma'u rakiin. Was qalat al-malaikatu. And when angel called unto Maryam salam, that Allah has chosen you, Allah has chosen you, you know, and made you pure, and has chosen you above all the women of the world of that time. Understand? Of course. Ya Maryam, you must worship, do ibadah of your Rabb with, you know, by forgetting everything that means actually, and do sajda, what's Yudhi, and do sajda, and bow down before Ma with those who bow. Zalika bin Ambai Raybi Nuhi Hi Ilaik, Ma Kunta Ladehim Iz Yulkun Akalamuhum Ayuhum Yakfulu Maryama. وَمَا كُنْتُوا لَدَيْهِمْ إِذْ يَخْتَسِمُونَ Oh, people, <coughs> you must, these are the, Allah tell us that these are the tidings, these are the news information of the ghaib which we are sending, send unto you, oh people, oh Muslims. None of you was there when they were casting their pen that who would take Maryam into the guardianship and you was not present, none of us were present there, you know, when they were disputing, arguing. They were arguing. So they threw the pen in the stream, you know, and they said, whose pen will travel upstream, that person will be the kafi of Maryam. So it was, you know, the pen of Hazrat, you know, uh, uh, Zakaria, right? right? Mm -hmm. Which went upstream. I will check the name. And, uh, and he became the kafi. 
the book, you know, and hikma. Again, hikma. Hikma is hikma. Wisdom, right? Mm -hmm. Wisdom is no translation for hikma. As I explained, one Torah uh, and Torah, Torah and Anjil and the Gospel. Allah will teach him those, you know. And there is a mention, after this, there is a mention, a your level kitaba, kitab is Holy Quran. Allah is going to teach Isha al-Islam where you will live with Kitabah, Holy Quran first. You understand? Then wisdom, Hikmah, His word, the word that Isha al-Islam spoke is called wisdom, Hikmah. And then, then Torah, you understand? Then Torah, then Anjil. There is no other book other than that. Kitab is Holy Quran. Allah taught Isha al-Islam. وَرَسُولٌ إِلَىٰ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلٌ And he shall be a messenger unto Bani Israel. Isa al-Islam's jurisdiction of his Salah and Nabuwa is Bani Israel. He is messenger sent to Bani Israel. أَنِّي قَدْ جِئْتُكُمْ بِآيَاتٍ مِّنْ رَبِّكُمْ أَنِّي أَخْلَقُوا لَكُمْ مِنْ تْوِينِ كَهَيَّةِ فَيْرِي فَنَفُخُوا فِيهِ فَيَكُونَ طَيْرٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَأُبْرِي الْأَكْمَهُ وَالْأَبْرَسَ وَأُهِيَ الْمَوْتَ بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ وَنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا تَأْكُلُونَ وَمَا تَدْخِرُونَ فِي بَيُوتِكُمْ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لَكُمْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ And وَرَسُولٌ And he shall be a messenger unto Bani Israel and who will say, quote, quotation, Isha al-Islam will say, Verily I have come to you with signs, with miracles from your Rabb, and that I create for you out of the clay, a form of bird, then I breathe into it, then become the flying animal. Bizna Allah with the leave with the permission of Allah. And I heal the blind and the leper and bring the dead to life, Bizna Allah, and inform you of what you have put in your houses. Verily, in that there is a sign, and if you are nobody, for you a sign. Now, we come to very important here that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the ilmul ghayb, right? Not only ilmul ghayb, the very function of creation. Isa al-Islam is creating from nothing, from clay, he blows and a bird starts flying. Bat is the one which he, you know, made out of clay and blue and bat. Up to today, a bat flies in the darkness. He says that uh, he will tell you, he will tell what you left in your homes. Allah gave him ilm al-ghaib to Isa Allah gave him power and permission to revive the dead. No one other than Allah can revive death, give life to death, or give life to nothing, to clay. It is the function of Almighty Creator. And here, one person is doing. Our, well, Holy Quran is saying that, do we become mushrik? We don't become mushrik. When it comes to, when we attribute much greater and higher, you know, status, and those things which Allah gave to that messenger for whom Isa Islam was sent, and they said, no, 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 no. Muhammad was Taj, a postman who delivered a message and gone on his way. He is dead and gone. He didn't know Ilm al Ghaib. Isa al Islam knew Ilm al Ghaib. He said that he, I will tell you what you left in your homes. He could tell people what they have eaten, what's in the stomach. Allah says he chooses among 
people whom he wills and give them il bulu But here, if you say that Surah Salam knew il bulu ghayb, there is Wahabi said, chop his neck off. He's halal dumb. Thousands and thousands and thousands of Muslims were, were martyred by the Wahhabis to the last 200 years just on this when they believe in Holy Quran saying the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Bulgaria. You know, so there's a much more, a lot to add, but you must understand Islam and Holy Quran in right perspective without any prejudice, without, you know, what happened? What happened? People take money and they misinterpret Holy Quran. They misinterpret Holy Quran. They remove, they misinterpret Ahadis, in order to please their masters, you know. There's so much to say. Like in Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says that those people who used to violate the Sabbath, you know, Saturday, or they go for fishing, Allah turned them into monkey. Allah said, Kulla. Huh? We said, Kunu, Kiratat al-Khasi'i. You become debased monkeys. But Yusuf Ali, the friend of Muhammad Ali, the Qadiani, Yusuf Ali, who has committed more than 200 deliberate and intentional interpolation, you know, and tahrif in Holy Quran, whose Quran is published from Medina to Manabra and is distributed by the Saudi millions. He says, no, they were not uh, turned into monkeys. They were, they became naughty and mischievous like monkeys. But Allah says, we, he made them a sign and a sign and Ibra for the later generation to come. Now what will happen if people start behaving like monkeys, become mischievous, naughty like monkeys? Do people, do people take it as a sign, as a warning? What is so great in that? Nothing. But keep away from all those people who get money, who get paid by certain government and certain sects, you know, who want to belittle Rasulullah and his awliya, and his Ahlubayt, and they interject wrong idea at the, by praying people. May Allah save these from us from this mischievous, from shar and fasad of Yahud and their agents. Subhan Rabbi the Rabbi Aizati Amma Yusufu, wa salamu ala wa salim, alhamdulillah. We are almost coming to that part of Holy Quran in Al Imran, which has created worse problem to Ummah Rasul Akram Sallallahu by misinterpreting or by changing the meanings in the sense of some of the words in Surah Al Imran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Aziz al Hakim, the wisest of the wise, in the opening of this surah, he states, the glad text now, that وَالَّذِي أَنزَلَ عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْهُ آيَاتٌ مُحْكُمَاتٌ هُنَّ أُمُّ الْكِتَابِ وَأُخْرَى مُتَشَابِهَا فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ فِي قَلُوبِهِمْ زَيْغٌ فَيَتَّبِعُونَ مَا تَشَابَهَا مِنْهُ فَيَتَّبِعُونَ مَا تَشَابَهَا مِنْهُ اتِّغَاءَ الْفِتْنَةِ وَاتِّغَاءَ تَغْوِيلِ وَمَا يَعْلَمُ تَذِيلُهُ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَالرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ يَقُولُونَ آمَنَّ بِهِ كُلٌّ مِنْ عِنْدِ عِنْدِ رَبِّنَا رَبِّنَا وَمَا يَذَكَّرُ إِلَّا أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that in the Holy Quran there are many parts, many words, many letters and even statements whose meanings are not clear and whose 
real meanings and interpretation are known only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and even in, in, in explaining this, this phenomenon or this thing in Holy Quran there is you will see that here statement is وَمَا يَعْلَمُ تَعْوِيلُهُ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَالرَّاسِقُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ يَقُولُونَ آمَنَّ بِهِ كُلُّ مِنْ عِلْمِ اللَّهِ أَنِّي رَبَّنَا In many, they are the holy companion and many mufassan, mufassarin are divided. Some, in some holy Quran which I have, you know, there are certain variation in reading the text. There are no variation in the holy Quran. The text, the reading, or in which where somebody might like to stop, somebody may not like, like to stop. Here the question is, the many people or Mufassirin in the they stop here. وَمَا يَعْلَمُ تَعْوِيلَهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ Nobody knows their real interpretation meaning save Allah. They stop here. And then they carry on saying, وَرَاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ يَقُولُونَ آمَنَّ بِهِ كُلٌّ مِنْ عِنْدِ رَبِّنَا And those who are deep in knowledge, رَاسِخُ, you know, who are, who are رَاسِخُ فِي الْعِلْمِ علم, They say, we believe with it, with all this, and all are from over there. Now, another group, this, they read like this, and they, I have the Holy Quran, both, having both, some stop, some do not stop. Those who do not stop, they say, وَمَا يَعْلَمُ تَعْبِيلَهُ إِلَّا اللَّهُ رَاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ You understand? Nobody knows Interp real interpretation, meaning interpretation of these, save Allah and those who are deep in knowledge. This is also deep in knowledge. Has Abdullah ibn Abbas gave he gave interpretation of these halul muqattiyat al mim as we have been telling you. So he gave. Them. But Allah warned us in the beginning in this surah that there is going to be many words and letters and statements which will, the meanings of which will not be known, which will not be clear to everybody. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those who are deep in, and his messengers, of course, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and those who are deep in knowledge, in depth, you know, they will know it. In both ways, meaning that their meanings are not clear. For instance, Allah mean, ha mean, you know, ya seen. People say Yasin means Yasayat, right? And also, you make their statements. They are statements which, uh, you know, can be misinterpreted, like Ar Rahman al al Arsh Astawa. Ar Rahman, I mean, Almighty Allah, you know, is sitting or is upon the Arsh. Now we do not know how Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, is sitting on the throne. Whether it's a throne made of some material, or like some some Wahhabia believe that there's a big throne on which he Allah sits, and when he sits, even it produces some kind of a noise. It is not. It is again, you no know, which we cannot 